Okay, so now we are going to go back into Revit. So you'll see the, the same sample uh, hospital model that we're using here. And in Revit, so ModelStream supports all the all the the later versions of Revit from 2014 on, and we have an add-in. So the ModelStream add-in is shown on the MicroDesk ribbon bar. And when I launch ModelStream, I'm going to get a connection page. So on this page, I have a, a configurations dropdown. So you can have multiple configurations defined for a single model. And this allows you to have different connections to your maximum environments, different configurations, different uh, types of equipment mapped. You can have you know, a different mapping for um, the air handling units, as I do in this case. Or you can have a mapping for your, your full list. So this, this is a nice way to set up those configurations. And we're actually going to make a live connection to Maximo. So you put in the Maximo URL, Maximo username and password here, and ModelStream will make uh, a live connection to Maximo using the Maximo integration framework. So we're, we're following all the, the best practices for integrating with Maximo. And once that gets connected, you get a list of sites. So this is a list of sites that the particular user has access to. In this case, I'm using uh, an admin ID, so I have a list, a uh, long list of sites here. It remembers the last site that I used, so it had New York selected here. That's the appropriate site, so I'll click continue. All right, so once I get logged in, this is the, the main menu. So there's, there's a number of options here. I'll come back and, and talk about the other ones and, and what they mean. But for now, I want to go into the options dialog, and then we'll go back into the mapping so you can see how the families get mapped to maximal classifications. But before we do that, I want to show um, we have some options for some of the attachments. I'm not going to go through in a lot of detail here, but this, this determines how the attachments get loaded in Maximo and how the information is uh, parsed out of the model. The main thing I want to look at is the location mapping screen. So this is where, as I mentioned, we're using a building floor and room hierarchy, so we choose the parameters that we want to define our location hierarchy with, and then we specify a delimiter to use when we concatenate those values together. So this is saying for every asset, I'm going to take the value in the building code, the floor code, and the room code, and concatenate them together with, with dashes. Now. The second piece of this is whether we're going to create Maximo locations. And we have two options. We can create new locations, and that's what I described uh, when we were in Maximo. This is what will create the Maximo location hierarchy for you. And these are just values that determine how the locations actually get created and, and what the status is for them in Maximo. You optionally uh, can turn that off. So if you have your locations defined in a space management system like Tririga or, or another space management system, you can allow ModelStream to just use the locations in Maximo and not create any new locations. 